Hello everyone. Uh, so this uh, session is uh, on uh, how to build speed for uh, CAT and other uh, MBA exams. Now speed is uh, pivotal to your uh, number of attempts and uh, that leads to a higher score in these exams. So ability to read fast, to solve fast is something which is uh, very important. So what I'll do is first I'll uh, uh, take you through uh, some tips on uh, how to uh, uh, go through uh, the general uh, speed building uh, in your preparation and then uh, I'll discuss a bit from the exam taking perspective section by section. Alright, so starting uh, with the first uh, part, uh, let's understand uh, how to read fast. Now reading is something, uh, most cat, cat aspirants they pr practice solving a lot, uh, but reading is something which they do not give equal emphasis to, but it should be done because you know, uh, when it's, it's not just about the 34 questions which are paragraph based in the verbal section. It is also about uh, the logical reasoning and the uh, uh, DI questions which have long uh, paragraphs coming with them or problem sums in maths. So overall if you see 60 to 65 questions in the paper out of 100 in CAT and uh, so in uh, the other exams like that and uh, etc. These uh, uh, questions are based on how fast you are able to read and interpret them. Right? So it's not just the method that you are applying at the time of elimination or solving, it's also important that you read fast and interpret fast. So reading, uh, when I uh, talk to my students in class, many students who are not very uh, habituated to uh, reading, uh, they feel that uh, if they increase their speed, the interpretation will go down. But uh, you know, it, it's a myth because actually interpretation builds speed and not the other way around. So the more you read, the more you practice in an exact fashion in which you are supposed to read in CAT, uh, or near any other exam, you will be able to read faster and uh, overall may be able to attempt 5-10 uh, questions more in the paper than you are doing right now. So my advice to you would be every day at least uh, do a half an hour exercise where you take up an article right? and uh, on any article on philosophy, psychology, sociology, economics, art, culture, literature, something relevant to CAT or environment, uh, disease, research, something contemporary. So take up an article. Uh, paste it in word document you get the word count at the bottom uh, just uh, uh, select or and delete the lower part and just let 500 words remain all right so you have a 500 article uh, word article in a word document for the day and uh, now uh, on that uh, article you spend uh, two minutes to complete reading it now how do you do that you read fast if you get stuck with any words just underline and move underline and move underline and move contextually try to guess the meaning because that is what you will do in the exam and also at the end, uh, maybe if it's a 500 word article, after uh, maybe after every uh, 100, uh, 150 words, which means one or two paragraphs, write three to four words of uh, central idea, which means what have I read till now or what was it about, right? So by the time you complete a 500 word article, you have four to five times you have scribbled the three, four words and uh, you have completed it. So it may happen that uh, you keep your stopwatch, uh, you start your, your stopwatch uh, uh, when you begin. It may happen that in the first time uh, you took three to four minutes to complete that article or maybe five. Right. Uh, once you are done, go through the dictionary, uh, the words which you are not understanding, which you have just underlined fast, all right, or uh, maybe you have just uh, just noted in your mind. So go back now, uh, go to those uh, words again and uh, just write down the word meanings using the dictionary now, uh, thinking uh, now you have a better context in mind because you have read once fast. Uh, now uh, again, once the word meaning is done, uh, try to again go through the article and uh, finish it off in two minutes. Maybe again you take, if let's say you are taking three minutes, it became five to three. Now redo it once again and finish it off in two minutes. Now this is a speed building exercise. If you feel that your interpretation and your uh, speed should go hand in hand, that is the ultimate objective uh, that you are trying to achieve. Follow this uh, three step or two step uh, process, uh, which I just uh, elaborated. Uh, if you do this for consistently for a month, you will be far better in terms of speed and interpretation than you are today. So it's all about, uh, show if, if you feel that there's a problem, you need to work to solve that problem. Practice makes perfect. That is the key, right? Uh, I, I can guide you with the method, but you have to follow it. On another side, uh, in the solving part, definitely learning the best methods is important. So like we train and we train, we make sure that uh, we give you multiple ways of solving a question and also the best possible way to solve a question type by type. So apart from learning solving methods, you should also focus on calculation. For small uh, uh, single digit, two digit addition, subtraction, multiplication or uh, finding out revision, uh, the remainder using short division method, etc. You should not be using a calculator, rather you should actually be uh, uh, doing these things uh, very fast, right? So working a bit on mental maths and small calculations, you can spend five minutes every day before you go to bed. Just make a five minute habit 
like when I was preparing for CAT, I used to keep a slate. And uh, five minutes before going to sleep, I just used to do simple two digits, three digit multiplication, addition, subtraction, etc. every day just to build speed. And I used to see how many would I do in a day. Maybe uh, when I started, I, I might be doing 10 per day uh, in five minutes. And uh, slowly and slowly and slowly it came to 30, 40 calculations per day in five minutes. So take random numbers and solve them. Just keep moving, keep moving. That habit of uh, putting yourself under that pressure of solving fast and getting the answer, that is something which helps. So these things are the mind toning things. They don't happen by attending classes. They don't happen by uh, learning something new. Uh, they happen by doing the basic things on a regular basis. So both this reading and uh, solving tip, I would suggest that uh, uh, starting today, every day try to spend half an hour on reading the way I said and uh, five minutes calculation of two digit multiplication, two digit addition, three digit addition, uh, to uh, uh, short division method, three, four digit number divided by a single digit number. Such, such simple calculations. Practice every day, five minutes before you go to sleep. Uh, keep these things in mind and you will automatically, when you do it regularly for 30 days, you will become faster than what you are now. All right. So those were general tips, uh, tips on reading and uh, solving. Uh, apart from that, uh, let me come to uh, section wise understanding. When you attempt a mock test, uh, first thing that you should do is, uh, let's say when you start with the verbal section, uh, keep in mind that you have to read the RC fast, uh, just noting down the central idea the way I said, uh, and then uh, go to the questions and eliminate. Try to read all the questions, but if you're not able to understand the question, let's say uh, you read it, but you, uh, you're, you're getting stuck amongst two options, so try to read the question again or refer to the paragraph, but if it's not, you're not able to solve it uh, till then. Uh, then you should leave it. So if you're getting confused among two options, for now leave it. Uh, in, in, in the months, uh, four or five months before CAT, I suggest that your reading speed is also in a building phase and interpretation also is in a progression phase. So at this point of time, accuracy is the one parameter which should be of 100% importance. It's very important in verbal to understand when you are sure, when you are not. All right, and that is only possible if you're getting stuck among two, not able to uh, uh, qualify which is right, which is wrong, immediately leave it and move to the next question. All right. Uh, try to solve as many RCs as possible. Ideally, it should be all. Uh, do not mark all, right? But attempt all is what I'm saying. Similarly, uh, in the last uh, 12 to 15 minutes, you get time for the VR section. Now, parachambers doesn't have options. The others practically have options. You just need to write them down or run out para summary, etc. So in parachambers, particularly, I would say that go through it, go through chronology sequence and uh, whatever kind of logic which you get, if you are able to uh, get certain links, uh, write it down immediately. Uh, if it's difficult, don't overspend time because you won't have that much time. Right. Uh, so that would be the general tip for the verbal section on uh, speed. In the DLR section, it's very important that uh, you first select the sets. Right. You cannot go into one set uh, and uh, then start solving and then leave it later. So what should happen is one to two minutes, one minute time on a set and then uh, should I solve it now? No. Okay. So let's go to the second one. Should I solve it now? No. So select the set and attempt start. So in one minute select, just look at it and select. Have I solved this kind of a set before? If you haven't solved much, uh, slowly and slowly as you solve more, uh, your, your repertoire of uh, the sets, the kind of sets that you have solved, that will increase and you will be able to do that mapping, right? That's comparing whether I've solved such kind of a set, do I know the logic or not? More, as you solve more. So uh, select a set and then attempt. Initial first target should be select two, three and then start. Uh, also, one thing is important, at times you select a set and then after three to four minutes, you feel that, okay, I, I, I got the first level, but there's a second level data or an equation which where I'm getting stuck, leave it. Do not get into a situation that you, you are feeling that, okay, I, I can, I can, I can, I can, you spend, end up spending 15, 20 minutes. If you're not able to get to the first answer, all right, in a set, leave that set in ideally three to five minutes, not more than that, not more than five minutes at any cost. So set leaving is also something which is very important in DILR. Now these things you should keep very crystal clear in your mind. All right. Uh, lastly, coming to the quantitative section. Uh, in quant section, the overall, uh, the three uh, level uh, thinking has to be there. You read a question, either you know it, if you know it, you solve it, all right? You read a question and you feel, I might solve it, bookmark it. You read a question and you feel, oh my God, what is it? I don't know, I haven't solved a question like it, or the language is uh, a bit uh, tricky. Leave it for now. By now, I mean, leave it for today, right? Uh, you're not uh, supposed to solve all 34 questions. Uh, you are a rare hundred percent -er if you are doing that, and if that is the case, it's fine. You have your own strategy. But in general, if you find a question which you are not able to understand, leave it for the for the day, right? Others which you think you might do it later, bookmark, and and those which while at the time of reading you know what are the steps to solve, go ahead and solve, right? So working in that uh, the three uh, uh, the traffic light uh, mode that uh, I'll attempt, I'll bookmark, I'll leave. Uh, taking the judgment very fast in quants is something which is very important. Uh, all uh, those uh, aspirants who score high in quants, they have that ability to leave questions fast. 
So you should regularly uh, think that uh, in every mock, you should practice that. If you read a question and you are not sure, right? If you feel, oh my, god, oh my god, what is it? That feeling should come fast. You need to be quick always, guys. Come on. Slow people cannot do good in a competitive exam. You need to attain speed, right? It's really that you slow and fast. I understand that. But you need to keep growing. That's my point. You need to seek speed. All right? So as soon as you read a question and if you feel, okay, I don't know it, leave it immediately. Maybe 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. That's it. Leave it. All right? You, some people have that habit. It's a geometry question. They're reading it, trying to draw a diagram and then thinking, okay, can I do something? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Within 15 seconds, you have to leave a question if you don't know. If you are a beginner, if you are not able, or if you are very, very weak in quants, it's okay. Then you have to go from the first to the 34th question. Only select the ones which are easy for you and solve. Leave all others. Otherwise, what will happen now? You might reach to the 20th question and the exam will get over. The time will run out. Right? So that should not happen. For all aspirants, uh, it's very important that uh, in every section, you make sure that uh, you uh, uh, select questions and leave very fast in the quant section. All right. So I hope uh, this uh, these fundamentals on section attempting will help you. And uh, do not forget uh, the reading uh, speed building exercise and the last five minutes calculation every day uh, that I explained. Uh, keep these things in mind. And uh, if you do this, uh, all, all this regularly, let's say in the month of month, uh, May, you take four marks and follow the basic tips uh, which uh, I have mentioned with the reading and calculation going on. You should uh, uh, expect uh, an increase uh, in uh, your uh, scores. Right. Uh, also, uh, one thing, uh, focus on accuracy always, that is very important. Uh, many students ask me that whether I should guess in the data questions, etc, etc. Guessing might also take time. So I seriously suggest for every genuine cat aspirant, you should solve and get to the answer. All right. There are too many questions to solve and get to the answer. Expecting extra time to be spent on questions where you might get a theta guess. That much time is not there. If you are finding that time, it means either you are 300 out of 300 or you are someone who is not able to select the easy ones fast and well. Right? So do not uh, uh, at all think about uh, guessing. It should all be accurate. Uh, you should ideally believe that you will be accurate now. And as you move towards CAT, uh, your knowledge will increase and your attempts will increase. Your speed will increase and uh, thereby your uh, scores will keep improving from one mock to the other. All right. So with these words, uh, thank you very much and all the best uh, for your preparation. Uh, appreciate speed. Uh, try to be faster than you are every day. Uh, if you value speed, it's only then that you can gain speed. Thank you.